it. This is an adult doll collector's channel. So if you are younger than 18, you need your parents' permission to watch my channel. I'm going to take some of my packed away girls out of the box. They've been in these boxes since last August when I had that terrible moving fiasco. So we went over to the storage unit today and dug them out. And I mean dug them out. They were, of course, at the very back of the storage unit on the very bottom. So we're going to go ahead and get these girls on stands and I'll fluff them out and um, see where I'm going to put them in my curio cabinets. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so in this box we have the very rare and elusive Platinum Jordan. That's who she is. Jordan was a W Club exclusive from several years back. I don't remember the exact year that she came out. But I think she was really limited to like $300, $350 worldwide. So she was very elusive. And um, I found her when at a bazaar at one of the fashion royalty conventions maybe three years ago. And... Um, she was on this lady's table and she was just sitting on top of the box and I was like, how much do you want for that doll? And she says, well, make me an offer. And I already knew that she'd been running three and four hundred dollars. And the lady said, I said, she said 150. I said, well, will you take 115 for him? She said, sure. So I got the doll for 115 dollars, fully complete earrings original fashion shoes everything she had never even combed her hair she had just been in the display case for years and never played with and just standing on a stand for 115 dollars so that's how i got miss platinum jewelry So next we have the very lovely Maine Attitude. She came from the 2012 Style Directive collection and uh, I love this doll so much. I just put her hair, kind of twisted it up and it's fallen a little bit. So let's see if we can fix that. Just to give her a little bump instead of that straight center parted hair that she came with. And she's wearing this fabulous cream colored suit with these gorgeous heels, matching purse, beautiful jewelry, first stole here. And I just thought it was such a pretty doll overall. Makeup, everything was perfect on her. I never undressed her. So I left her as is from the box. She's in her forever outfit. So I doubt anything will ever make me change her out of this fashion. So let's get her on the stand. And I'm using the telescoping saddle stands that normally come. For some dolls, you know, when they go in the curio because of the fashion, I like to put them on these telescoping stands and the Kaiser stands. It shows off their fashions a little bit better, particularly when they wear their dresses and gowns and everything. So, it's got a little static from being in that case for a while. So, let's just put a little spray on it. Break that static bond. Comb my hair out just a little. Smooth it out. And this Adele uses the 3.0. I'm not a big fan of it, but this is probably my favorite Adele 3.0 doll. Alright, and just getting him 
out of the boxes on this stand so I can put them in my curio cabinet and stage them and everything. That's part of the play process. It's part of a, you know, de-stressing time, calms me, gives me something else to think about other than all this mess that's going on in the world these days. particular box is my highbrow Adele and she's another one of those dolls she has the 2.0 face sculpt which is my favorite comes in these uh, lovely gray and mauve looking lavender chiffon top almost like business like wear and she was so pretty when I took her out of the box. I just never wanted to dress her in anything. So I just left her in her original fashion. This is her forever outfit. Still has the original curl to her hair. Jewelry. Everything's original to this doll. Now this doll I will put on a Kaiser stand. What I love about this doll is the muted colors of her uh, facial screening and how it complements her blouse and her pants and everything. I just thought it was a really lovely presentation of Adele 2.0. So I never redressed her. She's just gorgeous. amazing even though I have all the other dolls I always miss them when every time I would walk past my detail cabinets and not see them in there I remembered that oh yeah I still need to go and get those dolls and and dig them out and then now opening up the box and looking at them again just gave me another brand new rush of pleasure you know experience you know, just to look at them, just the joy that they bring me, even though they've been missing, I knew where they were, but just seeing them again and handling them again just gave me, you know, a real nice, pleasurable experience. So that's the whole thing about handling your dolls and playing with your collection. Um, it's not always about just taking the pictures. It's about actually putting your hands on them, fluffing their hair, putting their jewelry on, changing their clothes if that's what you're going to do. And you get a real joy from that. Alright, so these are some of the divas in my collection. And I call them divas because the first time I saw this outfit, I think it was Tweet Couture Danya that came with this fashion on. And we actually found the uh, photo inspiration for this fashion. And when we found it, it was modeled on a doll with short hair, dark skin. And I was like, oh my God, I could just see Muse Adele in that fashion. And so I had her nude. I never bought her outfit because uh, she was very elusive. But she was a grail doll. She came to me at a good price and everything. But when I saw that tweed couture fashion on Danya Zar, I immediately, I got that doll and I sold her new and kept this fashion just for this particular doll. And um, I'll see if I can find the picture 
of it so you'll see what I'm talking about you, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook then you've probably seen my pictures of her in the inspiration photo for this fashion so this is her forever outfit I doubt I will ever redress this doll in another fashion because it's so perfect on her so this is the Musa Dell she has a short flocked hairdo and she is wearing this beautiful African inspired um, necklace that she has up here it's like a collar and it comes in two pieces and it stays together with magnets and I saw this recently on eBay somebody was selling this on a lot of jewelry and that lot went for like three hundred dollars because this necklace was in there so just fit that on there like that and the magnets keep it together and it looks like it's one piece and she has some gorgeous little shoes on. Um, I don't know about the T-straps. That was an odd choice, but hey, you can't even see them. But uh, this is her complete fashion, jewelry, necklace, everything is original to that tweed couture doll. So here's Miss Muse Adele, one of the grills of my collection, wearing Tweed Couture Danya's fashion. Love everything about her in her forever fashion. Paparazzi Bait Adele. I'm going to have to work on her. She still has her original curls, but they need to be tamed up a little bit. And she's wearing a Donya Zara fashion too. Uh, at, uh, was it? No, not Donya Zara, but it's Lana Turner, who is also the Donya Zara face. But she's um, wearing this gown, and I love this gown. And I actually. Um, was fortunate enough to trade for this gown with a friend of mine, Tara O'Shea. So we worked out a deal for some dolls from the convention one year, and I wanted the gown. Normally that gown itself, the ensemble, goes for $150, $200 just for the fashion. So I managed to snag the gown. And I didn't get the jewelry. That's fine because I do have some diamond jewelry that I can put on her. But I, I need to finish styling her. But she'll probably be in this gown until I find something better to put her on. So let's get her on the stand. And she won't go in the cabinet just yet until I find her some jewelry. But she'll get there. Let's see. I find this. I need to style her before she goes into the curio. And there is a way for you to get these uh, Kaiser stands up under a gown. So you would do it like this. Just put it around her waist up under the gown. Get her positioned. And what I'm going to have to do is literally, I'm going to have to moisten her hair with some of this uh, fabric softener uh, water combination that I use for my girls. And just take my time, watch some TV, and get a fine tooth comb, spray, spray her hair down, and gently comb through every curl in here and put it back in place. And then once I get that done, all over, then I'll spray it with a little bit of... Um, hairspray to make it set 
and let it dry for a couple of days before I put her in the curio cabinet. But she's going to be a work in progress. But I love her in this. I think her retro hair works with the, you know, period of the gown and everything. And once I get her fabulous diamond jewelry on and bracelets and everything, she'll definitely um, be a showstopper in this gown. So I just wanted to share my little play session with you today. The detail on this dress is a work of art. It is so gorgeous. It's embroidered knit. guys so this concludes my little walk down memory lane today thank you for joining me if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed please do so and if you have any comments or any questions about any of the dolls that you see on the table today you can always drop me a line and I'll respond so y'all take care and we'll see you back in the next video bye